Action News was live on the air as rescues played out in Darby, Delaware County today. High water trapped people inside businesses and apartments. They're in an, an area that floods notoriously. Action News reporter Maggie Kent live along McDade Boulevard and Springfield Road with more on that story. Maggie. Yeah, Rick, we're right by Darby Creek, which is what usually causes this flooding and these problems. We spoke to the landlords of the apartment buildings right here, which the entire first floors are flooded in yesterday. They said they had a feeling this was coming, but there's truthfully nothing they can do about it. First responders rescued two children from a second story window. Wearing life vests, they held the hands of the water rescue crewmen, making their careful climb down the awning and onto the waiting raft in floodwaters along McDade Boulevard in Darby Borough. The children were reunited with their mother, who had been trying to get to them for two hours, relieved to see they were okay. I'm pregnant, so I was at an OBGYN appointment. I left maybe a little bit before 10, and it was definitely not like this. The rapid floodwaters overflowed from Darby Creek right behind their home, submerging the ground floor of the homes and businesses in the area, and the water caught many off guard. You can just make out the top of what looks like a red SUV, and a blue Prius is waterlogged in a nearby parking lot, the stream picking up this shipping container. Rob Pellegrino was startled by police officers knocking at his door. It was time to clear out. They made us evacuate, just let's put the clothes on our back. Now, uh, since then, since about 1130 this morning, we've been standing down here. The intersection, McDade Boulevard and Springfield Road, notorious for its flooding. Believe it or not, Isaias floodwaters didn't break any records here in Darby Borough. When Floyd was here, the roof of that house right there, that first I see that roof, the Floyd water was that high. So this is about 25, 30 percent of Floyd. But it's it's taken away. To, you can't get into town. Every way to get into town except one way. It's done, so it's, it's actually shut us down. We saw streams of water flowing over Lincoln Avenue in Prospect Park as well. Here at McDade Boulevard and Springfield Road, we're again right by Darby Creek, which has crested over onto the roadways and is flowing continuously down. We've been out here since about 1.30, and unfortunately, as you can see, that SUV is still submerged in water. There hasn't been any... Uh, receding waters at this time. That's what the police chief says he is waiting on before crews can get in there and then worry about the access to the homes, the businesses and restoring utilities in this area. We're live in Darby Borough, Maggie Kent, Channel 6 Action News. Jeanette. Just incredible to see those images there, especially the flooding behind you. Maggie, thank you. Now